Hello, my name is Stephen Ganey and I'm the proud superintendent of the Randolph County School System. As the winter months approach, we know that from time to time we will have to deal with inclement weather in the form of maybe ice or snow. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what our school system does to address the inclement weather during the winter months. To begin with, I just want to identify the four scenarios that we deal with each year during winter months. The first scenario is we hope we have school as planned and have a regular school day. The second scenario involves weather that may come in overnight or may have come in in previous days and we may have to delay the start of a school day. The third scenario also involves weather that may have come in overnight or may have come in during previous days. And in that scenario, we may have to cancel a school day. And then the fourth scenario involves weather that may start developing during a school day, which might lead to us having to close school early on a particular school day. So, you know, as we work through inclement weather during the winter months, we typically look at those four scenarios and, and try to work through them as uh, the winter weather dictates. So now that we've identified the four scenarios that are associated with inclement weather during the winter months, let's talk about what our plan of action is as a school system. Well, first and foremost, if we have inclement weather that is developed during the day or even during the night and we can make a decision at night prior to the next school day, we're gonna do that and we're gonna make that announcement to parents so they can plan accordingly. So if we if we can make the decision in, at night as whether we're gonna delay school for the next day or cancel school, we're gonna make that decision to help parents and staff members plan accordingly. If we don't make any announcement, then we're planning on having school the next day as planned unless things develop during the early morning hours. As previously mentioned, we always try to make an announcement the night before the next day of inclement weather if we can, but sometimes we don't have enough information to make a decision about the next uh, day school day. So we have to wait to the early morning hours. So what happens on those, on those days when we have not made a decision? Well, begin with members of the transportation department get up about three o'clock in the morning and start riding roads throughout the county. And members of the leadership team get up about three o'clock in the morning and start looking at uh, news reports, talking to National Weather Service, talking to Randolph County Emergency Services, and also talking to neighboring school systems about what they're seeing in relation to the weather. All this research is done and, and the transportation department members call in to the uh, leadership team members who are now in the building about three o'clock in the morning like they are. We're all getting all this research, but we know we have to make a decision by about five o'clock in the morning because our goal is if we're going to change the school day, we're either going to cancel the school day or we're going to delay the start of the school day, we're going to send a phone message out no later than 515 in the morning to all student homes. We have to do that because it takes approximately two hours and 20 minutes for our buses to leave schools, go out and pick up students and get back to school with the students. So if we're gonna cancel school, then we need to let everybody know that because after, after about 5.15, the buses have to start rolling if the school day is gonna continue on as planned with a regular start time. So we just talked about weather that developed during the night, but what happens when we plan to have a regular school day, but as the school day goes on, 
weather starts developing and we start becoming concerned about whether we can get the whole school day in. Well, we're watching the news media and what they're telling us about the weather. We're talking to the National Weather Service. Transportation department members are out uh, monitoring roads and staff members are monitoring roads as well throughout the school system. And then we, if we get to the point where we say we can't get the whole school day in, there are several things we work on. Number one, we try to announce an hour earlier than we're going to release so parents know that their children are coming home early. So we try to give parents at least an hour early notice, advance notice of this early release. We want to make sure parents have a chance to make plans accordingly to be home when their kids get home. Also, we have to set our time for when we're going to release according to the fact that it takes us about two hours and 20 minutes for buses to leave each school campus, deliver students, and get back park and we want to leave enough time for our bus drivers to get home safely and all of our staff members who stayed on campus until the buses get back. So the releasing early has several factors. Number one, we try to give parents a one hour notice. Sometimes we can't do that because the weather develops so quickly. And the second factor that plays into this is we have to give ourselves enough time for buses to go out and come back in and get parked, which as mentioned, it takes about two hours and 20 minutes for that to happen throughout our school system. And I hope that the information shared in this video is helpful to our students, parents, and staff members in terms of helping you understand the different factors that are used as we make decisions about what to do with the school day when we have inclement weather. You know, as noted, we hope we have a regular school day during all days in the winter months. But sometimes we do have to close school because of inclement weather. Sometimes we have to delay the start of the school day. And sometimes we may have to release school early because of inclement weather. But I can tell you this. All the decisions that are made about inclement weather all focus on one thing, safety. Safety for our students, our staff members, and our parents. You know, we have students who drive themselves to school at the high school level. We want to get them back home safely when there's inclement weather. We also have students who ride to and from school on, on yellow school buses, and we have students who ride to and from school with parents. We want them home safely when inclement weather occurs. We also want our parents who bring our students back and forth to school to get home safely and get off the roads so they're not impacted by inclement weather. And we definitely want our staff members home safely before inclement weather changes road conditions and makes things unsafe for their travel. So I can tell you that we're always gonna focus on safety. You know, sometimes we may make decisions and the weather not, may not develop the way that it was forecasted to develop. But as long as we're safe in the end, the school system is gonna be happy with the decision because we wanna make sure everybody's safety is maintained at all times when we're dealing with inclement weather.